Well, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the seventh episode of this series on differentials. If you haven't done so already, you might want to check out the previous six episodes where I cover how to build all of the different uh, torsion differentials that we show in this video. We'll also do a more in-depth review of the standard differentials that LEGO sell as part of all of their kits. And I cover in depth a lot about what differentials are and how they work and the difference between those and torsion differentials. But just to provide a quick summary of what they are, a, a differential essentially allows the two wheels in a car to move at different speeds so that one of those wheels doesn't stick when the car is turning. And the Lego differentials they provide as standard deliver all of the power to one wheel when another wheel has some friction on it. This means that it quite often gets stuck on rough terrain. The torsion differential overcomes this problem by distributing the power to the wheels more evenly. And so that's why we've built those for our custom builds. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the different uh, differentials and the torsion differentials uh, that we've built and covered in the previous episodes in this series. So these ones at the back are the standard uh, Lego differentials that they sell. And um, my personal favorite out of these is this one here, which is the red one. It's quite a heavy duty differential. Uh, all of the cogs are secured inside, which just means that uh, they're less likely to fall out or pop out under pressure or stress, which you do get with the two darker gray differentials on the right. And the cog here as well is also, uh, you can turn that from the top or you can use an angled gear to turn it from the side. The yellow one is probably my least favorite out of all of these. I've just found that it's always had too much friction when I've put it in a frame to use it. That being said, it is very heavy duty, uh, probably even more so than the red one. This is a pretty standard one I use uh, just like for, for more basic builds. Um, you can control this from uh, an angled gear on the side, um, but again, under a lot of stress, and in some cases, the gears do just ping out. It also has a little bit of an issue with the axles uh, falling out as well, and the same issue with this one as well. Um, which can only take uh, steering gear or drive gears from the top. But essentially this one and the last one are the same, uh, very, very similar. Um, they both have the same sort of issue with gears uh, popping out of those under a lot of strain. Now the rest of these are custom torsion differentials which work a bit differently as I explained at the beginning of the video and in more depth in other episodes. Um, this one's probably the most fun, I think, uh, just because it uses the Technic bricks. It's a bit bigger, it's a lot more robust, uh, it does take up a lot more space, and because um, it has to actually spin inside of a frame as well, that frame needs to be a little bit bigger in order to house this. Um, that being said though, it is uh, good fun and it definitely does the job. It's also one of the easier ones to build and um, has a relatively low piece count, and uh, I find anyway, I just really enjoyed making this. Um, this is actually one of my own designs and uh, yeah if you're building quite a big vehicle uh, especially like a 4x4 then that's a, a good choice this one's probably my least favorite out of the whole lot i find it's um, really fiddly to make um, it's a bit over complicated it uses lots of components or lots of parts and the axles are prone to slipping out of this as well so for that reason or those reasons this is probably my least favorite out of the uh, out of the group this one is a really solid one. Uh, I really like this and uh, yeah, pretty easy to build. It's a little bit more fiddly than the next one coming up, but overall really solid design, um, but it does have the same issue with the axles, sometimes slipping out. This one, however, is uh, really, really solid, dead simple, easy to build, and uh, doesn't have the same issue with the uh, axles falling out. It has two uh, axles with stops in it, something which I found you couldn't very easily fit into the other ones, uh, the, uh, the previous designs, um, without it just taking up too much space, causing too much friction and essentially um, not working properly. This one is a bit bigger than the previous three in terms of its length, and I think borders on the overall size of the Technic Brick one, the first one. This is particularly robust and it can be driven by uh, two cogs on either side. And I just really built this or designed this for um, an example to, to have something that's a little bit more heavy duty. But as you can see, this is significantly longer than the others. Uh, and so if you're putting this into a frame, it's going to take up a lot more space, um, especially if you want suspension and stuff like that in it. 
you compare it to this one, which is the other biggest one, it's definitely obviously thinner, but it is um, probably overall a little bit longer, although maybe not if you include the two uh, bushes at the end here. Whereas you can see that all of the others are pretty much about the same width, uh, and that is significantly less than uh, the first one, and they're all significantly shorter than the last one there. So these two are probably the most heavy duty of the, of the lot, depending on what you need. And um, this is, I say, my least favorite of the, of the lot. But again, it does work. It's, there's, there's no issues with it actually working. Uh, you just need to make sure that you work into the design something to uh, prevent the axles from slipping out, especially if you're going over rough terrain. And then of these two, it is a bit of a toss up because both of them are really good. Uh, they both do the job, um, but that not one is my favorite. Also, I think it looks a little bit neater and uh, that counts for something. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you wanna see me build anything, review anything, then also leave that in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.